Now let's look at counter blocks using structure text. Start with an up counter. Every time I hit button 0, I'm going to count up, counting up to max count, which in this case is going to be 10. The count value is stored, so I can look at it. When I get to 10, the red light turns on. In structured text, that would be up counter. The count up is the first entry, input 0. Reset is the second entry, input 1. And the count value, I can count up to 10, stop at 10. The output goes to output 0. Again, this is using counter up, instance 1, um, output Q, stored here. The current value is stored in the variable counter. Here's the trick to putting that into structured text. If I do a copy, going over here, paste, it's mostly in there. What won't be in there, these variables aren't defined yet. So if I go over and do a right click, instruction block selector, I'm going to have counter up instance 1. There we go. And then count isn't defined either. So that'll be a double integer. Should that be able to compile it? Cross your fingers. Hey, all right. Now it's compiled. I'll go into debug mode. Right-click, show variables. I can watch what's going on. As I hit input zero, I'm going to start counting. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When I get to 10, the red light turns on, and it stops at 10. If I hit input 1, that clears the count. I can start counting again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's an up counter. Down counter is very similar. I'm going to t count down from 10. When I hit input 3, hit input 3, I'll decrement the count. When I get to zero, the yellow light comes on. So here, input three, I'm going to count down every time I hit one. Hit input three, I'll in initialize to ten. Count down to zero when I hit button one. Um, I think when I'm at zero, the output goes high. And count just displays what's going on. You have compiling downloading, going into debug mode, and then showing the variables. Here's what's going on. At start, the count is equal to zero. When the count is zero, the yellow light is on. Output one. If I try counting down, input one. From zero, I'm stuck at zero. Hit input three, I'll initialize to 10, and the light turned off. Every push button, I'll decrement. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. When I get to zero, the light turns on. Stop at zero. Okay, up, down, counter. Here I'm going to count up every time I hit button zero. I'll count down when I hit button one. I'll clear the output when I hit button two. Initialize it to ten when I hit button three. And that's just the max count is ten. When I'm at the upper limit, the red light turns on. Lower limit, the yellow light turns on. And there's my count. The structured text code looks like this. I've got my up count, down count, reset, load. You can notice all the inputs are passed over here as parameters. The outputs are your dot notation. Counter up, down, instance one, upper Q, lower Q, stored in output zero and one. In compiling, downloading, going into debug mode, looks like this. Initially count as zero. When I hit input zero, I'll count up. Here's your one, two, three, four. Input one is count down. Three, two, one, zero. When I get to zero, the yellow light turns on. When I get to ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
the red light turns on. And I stop at 10. Counting back down to 0. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yellow light turns on. Up, down, counter. Now let's look at a ring counter. Ring counters are actually much easier to implement. We're just going to use up counter. Count every time I hit button 0. The clear command, however, will be the output. When I get to 10, the max count, I'm going to clear the counter. I'm going to start over. So here, this is just a single line of code does the up count, down counter. I'm saving count as a counter 1 current value, just so you can see what's going on. On button 0, I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 1 is 0. Counting mod 10. That's the ring counter. Single line of code with structured text. Couple your ring counter, in this case mod 4, the case statement, I can turn on the red, yellow, green, blue light. This upon the count value, the case statement tells me which light is on. Red, yellow, green, blue. And there you have the counters.